that I'm going to discuss in this lecture, um, which is combustion reactions. So there's going to be several specific reactions that we go through in this class. This is the first specific reaction that I'm talking about that I want you to know, which means I want you to know what the reactants in a combustion reaction are, and I want you to know what the products in a combustion reaction are, okay? So here's how we know about combustion reactions. Combustion reactions always start with hydrocarbon. Um, it doesn't have to be hydrocarbon, so I'm going to put in a few extra bits to this um, in a little bit, okay? But hydrocarbon is just molecules containing hydrogen and carbon. So like methane, natural gas, so you can see in this lovely picture of a gas burner, um, that's a combustion reaction. That's what's happening, okay? So um, another thing I'll also write is just fuel. Okay, so we can drive any combustion reaction just by giving it fuel and oxygen. I know some of you want to say air, which is correct, but air is technically made of nitrogen and oxygen. The nitrogen doesn't do anything for us in these combustion reactions. Not really. Um, I'll get into those details more in Chem 110 what happens when we have nitrogen in a combustion reaction, okay? But all the same, it's really the oxygen. That's what you need in a combustion reaction, fuel and oxygen. If you take one away, you don't have combustion anymore, okay? You cannot have combustion without oxygen. Similarly, you cannot have combustion without fuel. You need both. The products of combustion reaction for a, um, I'm going to write complete, uh, complete combustion reaction. And so that means all of the fuel and all of the oxygen has been consumed to form CO2 and water, okay? You always make carbon dioxide and water, always. These are always the products of a combustion reaction. So I need you, I want you to know that it's always O2 plus, um, for now, let's just say some type of hydrocarbon, some type of carbon and hydrogen containing molecule, okay? And it always makes CO2 and it always makes water. Okay, and so you can see I need to balance this one. So hopefully by now you picked up that there's two of these oxygens, one CO2, and now there's two of these um, H2Os. Okay, what about another type of combustion reaction? I'll give you another type of fuel, C3H8. Um, I don't expect you to memorize this, okay, but I'll tell you that this is called Propane, C3H8, yup, that's the stuff that is in your gas grill. If you are making some burgers tonight and you got a grass, gas grill, you're using propane, okay? Propane, propane, all right, so C3H8. And if we wanna write the combustion reaction, we start by saying C3H8 plus O2. We don't know how much O2 yet, we've gotta balance it, but there's gonna be some oxygen. And that's going to react completely to make CO2 always and H2O, okay? Now what we have to do is balance it, okay? And so I'm going to go through a little bit of a faster way of balancing it than like, you know, tallying up all the atoms like I did before. And I'll walk you through my process as I'm doing it. So the first thing that I just notice as I'm staring at this is I've got three carbons here and only one here. Remember, I don't have to put a one in front of a, a reaction because it's just always implied. It's always implied that there's a number one right there if we don't write the number one right there, okay? So I can see I've got one carbon and I've got three carbons, so I need to put a three right there to balance it, okay? So that's good. I'm not gonna worry about what happened to these oxygens, but now instead I'm gonna think about the hydrogens because that's easy, right? I've got eight and here's two, so I can make that a four. Four times two gives me eight. And those are all good. Now I'm going to balance the oxygens, okay? And I've got three times two to give me six plus four to give me ten. So let's write that down. Three times two plus four times one, that equals ten, okay? 
And now I can see I've got O2. So to make 10 of these, I need five, all right? And now that's all balanced, okay? I'll give you another one of these. Uh, we could go C, 4, H, 10. And maybe if you've had some amount of organic chemistry, um, you know that this is called butane. So again, you don't have to know this. This is like, you don't have to memorize, you know, what propane, butane, or methane. I'm just kind of trying to give you a preview of what's to come for those of you that are chemistry majors, okay? So butane, like your butane lighter, it's the same, same butane, okay? It also undergoes combustion with O2 to make always CO2 and water. Okay, so again, let's balance it. So four carbons, four carbons, easy, done. Okay, 10 hydrogens, I've only got two over here, so let's put a five, okay? And now I've got four times two gives me eight, plus five times one, gives me five, and that all equals 13. So I could easily just say 13 divided by two, right? Okay. Or if I really just hated the way this looks, if I just, like, if I hated it and couldn't stand it, right, then I could always say two CH4 H10 plus 13 O2 makes eight CO2 plus 10 H2O. That would be okay too, all right? Either one is fine. Um, okay, folks, so I think my next bit, yes, I'm just gonna um, uh, pick up from here on the next recording. All right, folks. See you later.